once again the ocean is two toned. There is just in between those trees. That's the ocean. Cloud just over the ocean. And then gradually you get those blue skies. But the wind, yeah. yeah all that cloud is just on the ocean, over the ocean. And then inlandish we've got cloud. And it's a massive wind. And I just need to put my ducks in a row, prop my beans, make sure I've put poles, pad the ground. Because we've had warnings. This long weekend, we were supposed to be having a more of a storm at Dololo. We just had thunder, a bit of a spit, and that was it. The wind is, it's a, it's a mixture. You, you get the undertone of a cool breeze, but um, it's really hot, warm, humid. And of course, this is a, you know, a tropical area, the, the, the Natal area. And as you can see, the wind, you know, it's doing its thing. And when you're a homestead gardener, you worry about these things. I dread to think what the farmers are thinking about, where they've got tons and tons and tons of produce, and they've got clients waiting. And if your produce is going to be submerged in water, or blown away, or something happens to the land, the soil, and it becomes a problem. This year I hardly ate spinach. We did have, but as the weather was doing its thing, it was rotting. Now I've, I've, I've come to the conclusion that if the weather is going to be like this, let me concentrate on hard things, hardy, woody, um, strong plants like your beans your potato, uh, sunflower, herbs. Here I've got two lots of um, beans. Actually I've got three, the others are still small. And then you corner any plot where I've got a potato, sweet potato, and then I've got the ordinary potato, and then I've got ne tero itumbe that you know it, it even if the weather goes uh, tits up they I'm certain to get something and the the, the plants uh, look after themselves basically but there is a possibility of getting a disease you know things like it blight on your potato or you get rodents, you know especially the mold and other you know cocos that live under the soil that will attack your crop and then when harvest comes dololo or maybe the potatoes are not fully formed or they've got holes or they've got ro they, 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 they've got erot so yeah man yeah, well, the, this year really has been really tough if, if you, you, you garden and gardening outside and all that and you're trying to just stick to organic farming you know nothing fancy and you want that fresh produce you know not with a lot of e e e chemical so yeah if you grow outdoors your challenge is the elements your challenge is the elements and what comes with the elements your winds your rains your 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 sunshine you know if everything is just in in in, in extremity then you've got a challenge so yeah now in king i am this so far looks okay ish and uh i'm gonna go and check other plots because usually this rain comes at night yeah you want where there's basically nothing you can do well it's my time yeah you want